Hey pandalings, this is the Black Belt Panda, and in this tutorial video we're just going to make some quick updates to the Greek house. Okay, and we are back here at the Greek house, which is actually starting to look more like a Greek mansion at this point. Um, we're just going to run through the rooms one at a time, just like we did in the last update video, and see what we can do. So I'm just going to start by clearing my inventory here. And we'll start with the bathroom, since that was the first room we did. Uh, no real other reason than that. And right off the bat, I definitely see one improvement that can be made here. Uh, we have white flowers now. We can go with the white tulip or the azure blue. We're going to go with the blue here. So... There we go. I just like uh, bushier looking flowers, so that's why I went with that. You could use the white tulip. Um, so that's a nice little update. Um, and there's one thing I would definitely like to try out. Let's see if I can get, there we go, carpet. We're going to put wool down there. And yeah, okay, that's good. I like that. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Bingo. Grab some white stained glass panes. And put those up there. Looks pretty good. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the bathroom. Not a whole lot to do here. Let's go check out the kitchen. Alright, so right off the bat, I do want to mention, um, and I had said this during the tutorial of the kitchen, uh, you don't have to use gold blocks. You can use yellow wool, for example. And I'm actually going to replace these gold blocks with the yellow wool. Um, just so I can use the yellow carpet as well. And actually, I really only have to replace a few of these here. Because the rest I can just cover up. So, whoops. Put in the yellow carpet here. And for these blocks here, I'll replace them. And let's see if I can do this. Haha. -ha. Alright. And back here. Actually, let's do that. Okay. So this is what it would look like if you were to use the wool and the carpets. Uh, looks pretty good. You don't have to keep that if you want to keep the pattern here. Um, let's see what else we have in here. These yellow flowers. What other yellow flowers do we have? Um, daisy's kind of yellow, but I guess the uh, dandelion is probably the one to go with here that we can put into a pot, so I'm just going to leave those. Um, we do have more fish if you wanted to, you know, add more. We've got uh, puffer fish, clown fish, the uh, cooked salmon, raw salmon. I'm not going to bother uh, adding those but you definitely could. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Let's run up here real quick. We can put down carpet. Looks a little bit nicer. And of course, we want yellow stained glass panes. All right. Anything uh, else in here? Hmm. That looks pretty good. I think we're good. Let's move on to the dining room. Um, and again, you can use blue wool in place of the lapis blocks if you'd prefer. And I'll just do that really quick so you can see. Oh, I missed two of them. Let me get those really quick. Oh, see, that's what I was trying to avoid. That's fine, I'll get that here. Alright, there we go. And another thing you can do, put a flower pot there, grab a blue one. I like this orchid. Looks pretty nice. There we go. I like it. Uh, let's see. We could also, if I grab, let's go with blue here. Blue carpet. Could extend the carpet outwards like that if we wanted and that looks pretty good as well 
So easy update there. Now let's grab blue stained glass panes. This room has uh, quite a few windows. So this should have a nice effect. This room didn't have a whole lot of blue in it before, so this should really uh, add a lot of color. Oh yeah, I'd say that added a lot of color. I like that. That looks nice. Okay, moving on. What do we have here? This is our living room. Um, this is green. There's not really a whole lot of updates we can do here. But right off the bat, we can do the glass. Just replace those. And these ones on the side. And that's probably it for this room. The cactus is pretty much the uh, best green plant you can put in a pot that I can uh, think of. I don't really think there's much else other than like trees. Um, eh, trees are pretty green. I like the cactus though. It fits the uh, little decoration theme we've got going up here. It's kind of creepy, but I like it. All right, let's head upstairs to the game room, and I will grab the brown stained glass paints. Alrighty. Whoa. I missed. So I'm just kind of speeding through this. Um, they're pretty simple updates, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on them. Um, in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how we can fix up the exterior of the building and add a roof and make it look really nice. Um, that's a lot of diamond swords. Alright. Um, we can't break these can we no okay that's that's a shame because we've got the ceiling down here yeah oh well that's fine that's no big deal get back in let me back in thank you all right um grab the window again okay so this one i'm gonna hop in here there we go to replace If I can do this. Oops. So that's what I was trying to not do. Yeah. Oh well. We'll let that grow back down. It'll work. And we can put these ones up here as well. Oh hey. Right, we'll get that later. Come around here and make this yellow since it's the storage that's attached to the kitchen it's also yellow there we go you can do that from inside the room if you're in a single player and can't fly all right bedroom grab red and replace these ones Okay, and let's see, what else can we do here? Um, this room, I've definitely got some ideas for updates. Uh, first of all, let's grab some pillars here and make it look a little bit nicer. Actually, get rid of that one. There we go. That's nice. All right, now, where's the stairs. Put that there, that there, and do the same here. Oops. There we go. And it matches. Nice. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that painting. And then, I'm going to break out this wall here. And you'll notice, uh, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. We have two blocks here, and that's going to work out to our advantage here in a moment. We'll grab red carpet, put that across there like so. And I'm actually going to fly out here really quick and grab uh, quartz stairs. We're gonna put upside down quartz stairs right like that. And right side up ones right like that. And we can actually turn these ones on the end 
give it a nice looking effect here. There we go. Now, if we come back in here, we can put our glass panes like that. And then the top row. One more red. And now we've got a nice balcony window. Looks pretty cool. Um, I also like to add a window here as well. Uh, let's see. Just break that out there. Throw in some red. Um, ooh, do not like that. Don't do that. I'm trying to make it look nice. Hmm. Or, you know, what we could do is just make it bigger. And throw some wool along there as well. Kind of like uh, two balcony windows now. This one's just a little bit different. You know, it could make it the same, actually. But come out here. And do that. That's pretty cool. Don't forget that. I've got two balcony windows. All right. Um, here, definitely, I can see a nice change we can make. We're going to get rid of this whole wall. Okay. And there should be, first of all, grab this pillar here and put it, we're going to put a pillar right there. Do I like that? Don't know. Not sure. Hmm. Anyway, we should be able to break that out. And yeah, I suppose that's good. Alright, we need the red window again. Red window. And we're just going to extend this. Like so. We can get rid of that. Break that. And we're going to add some cool little automation to this one here. We'll get a dispenser facing up on both sides there. And bucket of water. Gonna need two. Put one in here. Put one in here. Just gonna go ahead and quickly get rid of that water. Now I need button. Button. I know some people don't like the way I say button. Get rid of that vine there. Put more vines there. Did I just hear the button get pressed? Strange. Anyway. Now we can grab that flower. Grab a flower pot. Put that here. And creeper head, item frame, uh, let's not use the creeper head, let's use a rose bush. That's cool looking, isn't it? Alright. Oh, whoop. what am I doing? There we go. And that one as well. And now you can push the button to suck the water back up if you wanted to do that. Oh, that's what I kept hearing. Okay, thought I was going crazy there for a second. We're good, we're good. Okay, we're gonna put some more carpet there. Um, that's fine. That window looks pretty good. All right, I like it. What do you think? It's pretty cool, huh? Some nice upgrades. Um, let's go outside here. I knew this door looked funny. Make it taller. Don't do what I did. Make it taller. Thought it was a little bit small when I was trying to get through it. Where's the stairs? There they are. That's better. Now they match. All right. Okay, so we got our window over here. That looks pretty cool. I like it. Um, 
let's quickly see if there's any updates we can make down here. Hmm, probably not. I think if we do much more to it, it'll lose its nice wine cellar feeling. The environment, the mood, if you will. Huh. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. We'll have two shelves instead. I don't want to worry about that thing closing. Alrighty. Let's go make sure we've got all our windows. So we'll just fly around the building here. And so far so good. Lots of colored windows. Vines are starting to grow back down there. A couple of balconies there. That's pretty cool. That's white. So, oh, here we go. We did miss one room. We missed it because I didn't even think about updating this one. So we'll grab some purple. And put these in. Whoa, a little bit of lag there. Nothing major. I haven't been having um, that weird lag spike issue today. So that's nice. The only lag I've really been noticing is uh, when I render out that gigantic tree that's over there for the first time when I load up the world. Um, yeah, so this room looks pretty good now. Lots of purple. I like it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the updates to the house. Um, like I said before, in the next video, we're going to go over the roof and the exterior and the balcony that's going to be in here. It's going to be a little 360 balcony. You'll like it, I think. I like it anyway. It looks pretty cool when it's done. Um, then for the final video, as far as I know anyway, uh, we'll be doing the courtyard in here. And uh, if I don't come up with any other ideas by that time, then the courtyard will probably be the last video of the Greek house. Um, and I call it a Greek house, but it really is starting to look more like a mansion, isn't it? Um, so yeah. After that, I will start working on some more tutorial videos. Um, I might do some more starter houses uh, or simple houses. And I would like to do a series similar to what I did with the Greek house um, and make a big Japanese house. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, a few of you have already said that uh, that's something you'd want to see. So, yeah. Um, and in case you didn't know, uh, if you look in the video description down below, you will find a link to the world save. You can download this. Um, I update it after every tutorial. And um, also in the description, I've got links to Twitter, uh, Google+, and Facebook. Um, I did make a Facebook fan page, and there really isn't anything on it at the moment. Um, I've really just gotten started with that, so you have to bear with me on that one. It's pretty empty. Um, but otherwise, if you wanted to check those out, they are in the video description uh, down below. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, click that like button. And... Uh, in case you're wondering, a lot of you got a, an invitation to a circle, um, and it's a it's a YouTube feature that I tried out. Uh, basically, lets me add the uh, top 500 subscribers to a circle. So if you got added to that circle, it means you're one of the 500 people uh, who participate and share my videos and comment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, means you're one of the top 500 pandalings, and that's what I named the circle. It's the top pandalings. Uh, so congratulations if you got into that. There's only 500 of you, so uh, that's pretty cool. I might uh, experiment with the circles a little bit more in the future, uh, but right now I'm still learning the whole system uh, now that YouTube's really starting to incorporate a lot of Google+. Plus. Um, and unfortunately, uh, a lot of the stuff kind of gets annoying as a content creator. Um, I no longer receive comments in my inbox, for example. All my comments show up as alerts. Um, just today I had over 100 alerts. Uh, so... Whereas before, I used to read all my comments. Now, it is really, really difficult to read my comments because they're not all in one place. Um, so, I apologize if I don't see your comments anymore. Uh, blame YouTube. Uh, they messed it up. <laughs> so, anyway, if you've got any questions, comments, suggestions, leave those in the comments section below. And uh, you can always share the video if you uh, want to support my channel. Uh, the more people who see it, the better. So, <laughs> uh, once again, thanks for watching. This is the Black Belt Panda, and I will see you in the next video.